Good morning. If you're watching on Ustream right now, I'm kind of holding the mic like somehow yeah. like on my chest. I feel like it's going to fall at, at, at like any second. It's kind of weird. It looks weird. It does look, look weird. Did someone do something to this mic? What's going on here? Ian. Hmm. Kind of weird. I blame Ian. It was Ian. I know Ian sits in the, sh in the seat yeah. before his show. There's something going on here. Either way, good morning. It is 10.09. I kind of wish it was 10.10 10 so I could say 10.10 10 wins. But yeah. I am spring like this season, and I'm here with Basic Brian, and I'm sure Sassy Siobhan will join us shortly. And if not, yeah, sure. I mean, <coughs> it happens. <laughs> good morning on this rainy day. Yeah. I was so upset. I was telling Brian when I walked in that I really thought that today was a different day because I work on Same. the other days I'm not here. And I woke up thinking, oh, I have work. I don't have time to, like, sleep in. Oh, I'm already late. And I was just like, wait, wait, wait a minute. What day is it? I think today's Tuesday. Oh, I have my show. I could go back to sleep. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And then Brian turns out he's living in a ghetto shower. Well, showers in no, a ghetto No, I shower. fixed everything. I and the handyman in my room, except for one thing, because, like, I fixed uh, one of the lights that were out. Because it was, like, the light bulbs like went out but the casing around it everything was jammed ghetto and uh there was like something wrong with my door but i came back and i fixed most of it so i'm the handyman and i will hold that against my roommates for the rest of the semester but he's only like that you're the fuck. handyman yeah like, i fixed that you okay. break things i fixed i it. did it i am man hear me roar yeah i did it um what else i wanted to say how was nah. your easter how was my Easter? My Easter wasn't too bad. Um, what I basically did was work. <laughs> it was so funny, though, because my eye, it like it was swollen like twice really? its size. So for whatever reason, it was just huge. So I had to wear glasses to work. And everyone was like, oh, my God, what happened? Did you walk into a door? And I said, I have no idea. <laughs> and then silly me, I wore like the smallest little dress because I was like, oh, it's sunny outside. It's Easter jesus rose today let me wear a tiny dress <laughs> i was so cold <laughs> after one o'clock and all of a sudden it became like yeah. 40 degrees and i was like Brr. but other than that no my easter was fine i went to see furious seven. Oh, yeah that, that was, was just my... tradition i guess <laughs> every easter we go to see furious seven no now, just see, a Fur i'm saying this only because um my friends don't watch the show and i told them i would go and see this show with like this movie with them but i kind of like went out without them <sighs> but did you see furious 7 yet no and i probably never will oh my god i was just talking about it with bobby bobby gives it two stars which is hilarious out of four though that's like out of four which is a that's a pretty <clears throat> i mean i've never i don't like the out of four rating give it like an out of five i'm gonna pretend he said it out of five but I don't, I don't know if I would give it that because he's saying he didn't like the plot. But that's not the type of movie you go to watch the plot. Yeah. You watch it for the shenanigans. You watch it for the ridiculousness. And honestly, because of Paul Walker's passing, you watch it for Paul Walker, which I'm very impressed by the way that they handled the whole uh, shooting thing. Yeah. Didn't they just really, have like his brother They did, in. but you cannot tell that it's his brother. Like The CGI effects were on point, unlike Twilight, which I still do not understand what is up with that baby that they had in Twilight. That that baby was creepy. Never seen it, so I'm the final pick. the final movie they had that baby was CGI and that oh, oh. My god and they can't well, even say it's budget because you that's kind of like me. what happened with American Sniper the baby was fake. I know, but they used a fake baby doll. Twilight it was just a, it was creepy. It was like this was 2003 and they didn't know what technology to use. I didn't understand what was going on, but with Furious Seven, I thought it it, it worked. You couldn't tell and. For those of you out there, I mean, I didn't shed a tear. It was a very emotional ending. It was beautiful. They did, a, like, a nice wrap-up for him. So it was a very nice film. Yeah. Jason Statham, though. What is up with Jason Statham? What is up with Jason? You I'm know, I wait. think you could say that for every Jason Statham movie. What? What is he, up with Jason Statham? He's crazy. Yeah. I'm watching this movie like, you are insane, sir. What is up with you? Well, have I you seen Death Race? Yes, I've seen Death Race. Death Race, he was a good guy, though. He wasn't yeah. a crazy... He was crazy, but he wasn't a bad guy. This movie, he's a bad guy. I'm so used to him being, like, kind of crazy. My roommate claims Death Race is one of his favorite movies, but I think he's full of it. I feel like Death Race is one of the most underrated movies, because no one ever talks it about it. It is so bad. It's underrated. So, it's like, oh, let's kind of make, like, Mario Kart, but add for some... For prison. For, like, <laughs> but we'll make a serious story for it. Just give me the Mario Kart. 
I don't want what Jason Statham. Ever. And, and what about the part where, like, oh, the female navigators? What part did they have? You could take them out and it'd be the same movie. They're just there for sex appeal. <gasps> Brian. Oh. Can't just say that like that. You can't just say things have women Brian. for sex appeal. Brian. Yep, that, that's I'm in a where women's I... studies class, sir. Ah. Women's studies. But no, I'm the not. movie was the movie was thoroughly entertaining. The Rock. Okay, I'm just gonna say this part really quick because this this part I was like, what? So in the movie, The Rock had gotten injured. Nothing new. He actually does not play that big a part in the movie. Half a spoiler alert. But there's a part where he has to go and do business. And he has a cast on his arm. Oh, it's not in the commercial. Is it? Okay, yeah, he good. Just, because like, he just breaks like it. breaks it. And I'm like, what? No one could do that. That is not a thing. No one could break a cast by flexing. Why? No. Uh, clearly you've never watched WWE. But, but like, he was like, Ugh. he was just like, I got to go to work. And it, that's what? And then what else was ridiculous? All the near death experiences. Which I know why they did it. They it was just, you have to like guess ooh who's gonna die in this movie and everyone's like waiting to see if Paul Walker is gonna Wait, die or not. You, can you just tell me what does Paul Walker? I like did already. I had said on another show that he does live. Live. He lives. So for those of you, sorry, spoiler. He does live, but they they do it in the correct way. They do it. Uh, I read it in an article, and Ludacris had mentioned that they wanted him to live. Because, like, they didn't think it was fair that all because in real life he passed away that the character, like, it was like a thing to so keep So is it just up. he rides off into the sunset and he gets the girl? I'm not going to say, it, yes, something like that, but not exactly the way you said it, but something like it, yeah. So, so like, it was, it was emotional. I liked it. I give it a three. Out of? Three out of what? Four. Uh, a three, three out of four? I, I know, three out of five. Because okay. I could I could see what he's talking about with the plot. The plot is just awful. It is bad. It's a bad plot. But the effects are great. The women look amazing. The girl that plays Ramsey, she is gorgeous. Michelle Rodriguez is awesome and bomb. They had Ronda Rousey in the movie. And Ronda Rousey officially terrifies me. For those of you who don't know who Ronda Rousey is, she's that MMA fighter that yeah. I think knocked the other girl in like 12 seconds. Right? I think so. Oh my gosh. She's huge. Not huge, like... She's uh, like my dream girl. She, she's like all muscled out but in the movie she looks even more buff brian she, she'll like eat you like a snake like okay but i need like she's an anaconda my life, so it'll be like you know we're at home she'll be like brian let's go to the movies i don't know brian we're going to the movies literally literally that's what she would do to you i will finally like have some like i'll never be like uh i don't know what i want she'll I tell like me she'll what be i like want ronda's hungry she'll speak in the third person <laughs> 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 she is that you make it sound strong. like she's like a neanderthal like uh, Rhonda hungry. Seriously, and then there's like a fight scene between her and Michelle Rodriguez. Oh, um, can I take a guess that Michelle Rodriguez wins? Uh, B.S. If she wins, me, 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 me. it's not that she even wins or loses. It's more like it just ends. No, it's not like a winning. But she kind of, she basically kind of lost because Ronda Rousey beat yeah. her up. But I still say Gina Carano's fight in the last movie was so much better. I didn't see the last movie. What? I've never seen any of the Fast or Furious movies. What? Yeah, I haven't. And you want to know what? I'm happy to keep it that way. Why? It's it's a movie that you like want to see because like there's sometimes movies you don't want to think you just want to see things blow up. That's that movie. If you want to think, I guess go watch Women in Gold. I don't know, but I heard Women in Gold has bad movies. I don't know what that is. It's the new Helen Mirren movie. It's supposed to be about uh, recollecting um, stolen goods that the Nazis had taken. Oh, I saw like a trailer for it, I think, and I'm probably not ever going to see it in my Yeah, life. I'm not going to see it either, especially because they put Ryan Reynolds as the lead, and I don't think Ryan Reynolds is a good actor. I general. think he's all right if he gets the right role. Like, uh, uh, there was actually pictures of like the first day of filming for the Deadpool movie where he's the star. Oh, so he is going to play Deadpool. Yep. Like, that's a thing. Yeah. See, I had asked my friend, and they were like, oh, you know, they don't know yet, really. Yes, like, it's hmm. confirmed. And it's going to be rated R, which is great for the character. Rated R and it's Marvel? Yeah. Uh, and they're it, allowing that? Is it Marvel? Deadpool's some... the kind of character that you need it to be rated R, otherwise it's going to fall but flat But isn't that face. owned by... Um... Disney? Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't... But... Ooh, interesting. But if you read Deadpool, you know like it has to be rated R. That's just the newer Deadpool, which I don't like that much. I wish I, I, I did know about all that. You know, I I'm not a big Marvel fan. I'm a DC man myself. Ooh. Well, actually, like, my favorite characters are Hellboy and Lobster Johnson, which aren't DC or Marvel. I don't know who those people are. You should look into 
Lobster Johnson's great. I love that. And, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to keep talking because I see you're over on the computer, so <laughs> I don't want any dead air. Brian, That's awkward. you are in the entertainment business right now, sir. When I walk away, you should be able to, like, wow us for those two seconds. I did. I was talking. Isn't my voice <laughs> enough? <laughs> oh, God. All right. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, Brian is going to give us some news, and we're going to give you an update about Tidal because I think... On our morning show, we actually guessed it right about what they were going to do with it. So just hold on till after the break.